So one of the things we have to understand with young people is that young people are now being groomed. They've been targeted by gangs. They've been tar targeted by pedophiles. They've been just generally targeted. And one of the processes that groomers use is, and this is really, really simple, so I'll break this down to you, it gets more complicated, but one of the processes that drug dealers are using now is called the chicken shop grooming. And what that means is that they will wait outside schools and find out who goes to the chicken shop. Now, this is the important part. You remember your parents, as, as, as parents used to tell you, that nothing in life is free. And it's absolutely right. There's nothing in life that's free because these groomers will buy your children food. And they would do that over a number of days, and then they will turn around and tell that child, you are now in debt. So let's take, for example, here, your child runs up a 50 pound debt. What, how's he going to repay that debt? He's not going to come home and tell you as a parent that he's just run up a 50 pound debt for food. So what he does is he looks at that 50 pound debt and he says to himself, how am I going to repay that? Now, this is where the dealer and the grooming comes in. So now the groomer turns around and says, well, all you have to do is deliver some drugs to that person over there. And so this to the young person seems like a really easy way of getting out of debt. So the young person agrees. But the problem is this, is that dealer is organized for that young person to be robbed whilst delivering those drugs. So now you've got a 50 pound debt, which has now turned into an almost five or 600 pound debt here. So now your child is 600 pounds in debt. Your child is definitely not gonna come home and tell you anything. Now the groomer's job is halfway done. So here's the other thing. So now, how do you get out of a 550 pound debt as a young person? You go back to the person who you trust, the person that groomed you, and you ask if they have solutions. And obviously they're gonna have a solution. So the solution is this, why don't you deliver some more drugs to cover the money you have initially were in debt for, the money you lost, and also the money that you can make from these drugs. So now your child is thinking, all I want to do with my life is repay these people because I don't know how I got into this problem, but I just want to repay the debt. So your child now accepts to do another drug deal and then your child is robbed again. So now your child's got, he's got the debts gone from 50 pounds to 550 pounds. And now your debt, your child could be thousands of pounds in debt in a number of weeks. So here's where the bigger problem comes now. So now your child is in thousands of pounds of debt. And we're seeing up and down the country that children are going missing. You know, children are going missing for two or three weeks. We suspect that they are in cuckoo houses or crack houses selling drugs to pay off debts. So now your child is in thousands of pounds debts. And what we're finding is, is now parents are finding out that their children are in debt. And they're finding out because drug dealers are coming and kicking their doors open and, and telling them that they need to pay this money. So the whole point of this message is this is you can quite easily see that by accepting a 50 pound food bill, how your child can become thousands of pounds in debt and end up selling drugs, being arrested for selling drugs, actually end up being stabbed because if they can't produce the money, then there's always violence that follows. So you as a parent, carer, or a concerned youth worker, teach children this process, teach them it's as simple as accepting food from a stranger and that nothing in life is free. And the most important thing about this whole message is this, is that grooming is one of the most natural and easiest processes known to man. We do it in relationships, we do it, but groomers are targeting vulnerable children to get them in debt. So take heed from this message, share this message if you can, teach it to a child, and just it's just as basic as nothing in life is free um, and accepting food from a stranger could end up in thousands of pounds of debt.